What's happening everybody? So this is the follow-up to the video that I made giving you guys the details about my trip to the track running the Mickey Thompson drag radials and the new tune. And these aren't in any particular order, but I just wanted to show you guys the time slips. Uh, string of 12 O's here, couple of 12 teens. Uh, these represent me trying out a little bit different launch technique, which would actually be this one. Uh, this one here is me trying to run it in track mode. Had a bit of an issue with it spinning in second gear, so didn't ever go back to that. Went back to the previous technique that I was discussing in that earlier video, and every single time, 12-0. So pretty happy with that result. Uh, this here, this is the best it ever ran with the stock tune and the stock tires, but at a bit of an elevated DA of about uh, just over 2,000 feet. Uh, the DA for these runs just over 500 feet I believe on average so that gives you an idea as well but I want to get to that density altitude correction and the tune and what it all meant in the big picture so here is a dry erase board full of data so let's jump right in the middle of this okay so these numbers here these are not any kind of correction these are just straight improvements over what it did with the stock tune and the stock tires Average 12.085, which is about a 5.8 tenth of a second improvement. 114 roughly miles an hour, which represents about a 3.3 mile an hour average improvement over those other times. Now, those are uncorrected, and I'll get to the correction on that here in just a second. But what I, I did want to show is something a little bit interesting to me. When the car ran 0 to 60 in 3.8 to 3.9 seconds, that would always translate into a 12.0 pass. 4.0 to 4.1, translating one of those 12 teens I was just showing you. And that, based on the 0 to 60 times that I ran before with the stock tires, I did uh, log a few of those uh, with the uh, stock tune and the stock tires at the track, would usually translate to around a 12.6. 60 foot times, well, the tires netted right out a 0.17 gain. It was averaging 195 before on the stock tires, which if you know drag racing, that is not good. But it did get to a best average of a 1.78, and again, that 0.17 gain is going to get you about a 0.34 ET gain at the end of the track. So that's a definite strong result. Uh, talking about that DA correction now, uh, you know, I'm going to be a bit generous. I'm going to say that DA last night was probably worth a couple of tenths, give or take. Uh, probably, like I say, it might be a bit generous, but I'm going to just go ahead and roll with that just for purposes of conversation. And I'm going to say that it probably gave us about a 1.3 mile per hour increase as well, or about a 2% increase. So I uh, just want to throw that out there for you guys. Uh, you know, just trying to give you guys as much info as I possibly can. Now, calculated power, this is one of those things that's kind of like dinos. You know, they're, they're only as accurate as you want to believe in them to be. But uh, this is based off of WallaceRacing.com's power calculator. And again, this car does weigh 4,495 pounds. So uh, let's take a look at some of these figures and I'll explain to you what they mean. Uh, at an average 110 and a half miles an hour, which is what it was doing before the stock tune and the stock tire, it was doing that at around a 2,500 foot DA, which is going to give you right at about 473 horsepower at the crank. And with the tune and the t well just the tune by itself really and also taking the tire into account a bit as well um averaging about 114 miles an hour all night uh at about a 500 or so da it's going to equate to about a 515 horsepower number at the crank now uncorrected that's going to give you about 42 horsepower in total uh gain but if you throw a little da correction at it I'm going to say it's probably close, a little bit closer to that, uh, about 29, 30 horsepower range, somewhere in there. So what's the final analysis on this? Well, we're going to take that 5.8 tenth increase. We're going to whittle away a little bit just based on the 60 foot times it was running with the stock tires. Uh, 3.4 away from that. DA, we're going to take about two, uh, you know, a couple of tenths away for that. Um, so it's going to give us a 5.26 uh, tenth of a second improvement corrected. And then mile per hour, I'm going to say it, it, was, it has gained an average of 3.3 miles an hour. 
not really going to give the tire set too much credit for that. Uh, DA is going to come in and, and take away about a 1.3 miles an hour, so about a total of a 2 mile per hour increase. I hope I have not bored you sufficiently yet, but I'm going to try to do it a little bit further now. Uh, I know some of you guys that have been doing this for a while, this is the type of information that you guys are looking for. Uh, for some of you guys that really don't know what a lot of this means, uh, to guys that have been doing this a long time, just because you get a result doesn't mean that that result is accurate. And just because you show a gain at the track with maybe some mods that you've done to the car, if you're making those, uh, if you're making that assessment based on a on a set of parameters that might not be truly accurate, like a, an improved density altitude, for example, um, and that just basically means better conditions then just because you've picked up some power and just because you've run a better time, it doesn't mean that there is an actual gain there, mainly because if you were to correct that for the conditions, you would possibly get the same result or maybe even uh, go backwards a little bit with your progress. What does all this information mean to me? Well, what it means is that the car, it did pick up power, it did pick up ET, uh, it got just so close to that uh, that 11 second pass, I, that 12.015, I mean really? I mean, if I just wouldn't have eaten those tacos that day, right? Or the day before, or that week. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. I mean, it was just so close. Um, but I am going to try to get into those 11s. Uh, you've got Lone Star Mopar Fest coming up. I will be there. I'm already registered. I'm looking forward to it. So if you guys are going, stop by. I'd love to meet you. Shake your hand. Say hello. Um, let me know if, if this was helpful though for you guys. I'm trying to give you guys as much information as I possibly can so that it, it's as unbiased. It's, I, I really honestly don't care what the car runs, but I do kind of want it to run 11s. But I want to be able to, you know, for, the, for you guys in general to be able for you guys to compare your car against mine. And, you know, it's always fun to bench race. This, it doesn't get any more bench racey than that. That's a wrap for this one. Post up your comments below. Adios. Oh wait, and here's that. Here's a shot of that board again. You guys want to hit uh, hit pause? That'll give you all of the uh, info that I've got. All right, now it's a wrap. Adios.